Is it ready, Mr. Hey, Rainbow? Squirrel. Put them on the table, Thank please. Thank you very much. Thank you very oh. much. Put them here. Uh, don't you have any intention of helping us, huh? No. Put them here. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. These dishes look uh -huh, delicious. Are. Uh -huh. are there still more of them? Yes, there is. Much more. Look at them. I've never seen so many dishes in one place before. <laughs> uh, well, Mr. Neighbor has got the highest score in his class, hasn't he? Huh? What does it mean? Does it mean he's jumped down from a high place and won? Hmm? No, Hot Hot. It mm -hmm. means what? I studied well and I got great uh -huh. results. Mm. Uh, whenever Mr. Neighbor gets high grades in his exams, he makes delicious uh -huh. dishes in order to show his happiness and celebrate with me and you. <laughs> I see. That's great. I hope you'll get good marks every day. I'm not really sure uh -huh. what a good Thank mark you. is, you. but I really hope you'll get lots Set of them. Set them on the table. That's uh -huh. it. Go. Okay. Okay. Huh? Yes. Okay. Mr. Neighbor. What did you yes. say? As I said, I hope you'll get many good uh -huh. marks every day. Though I'm not really sure what a good mark is. Thank uh -huh. you very much. Hey, I'll be right with you uh -huh. once I've washed my hands okay. and you do the same. Okay. Is that it? I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Huh? Where are you going? Hurry back. I'm starving. Wow. Wow! Mmm! Let me eat some of these. Mmm! This one's delicious too! Let me try it! Mmm! Why have they put them in these bowls? You should have put them all in one plate! They're all delicious! Mmm! Much better! Mmm! Wow! Let me empty this one too! Come here. I want to eat you. Mm. Wow. I had no idea they'd be so delicious. I used to think only the little bugs under the barks are delicious. These are way more delicious. I'll eat them all. There's one dish left. I'll eat that as well. Come here. I'm going to eat you. Mm. All right. Mm, so I'm here. delicious. Mm, I'm great. here too. Mm, 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 mm. I'm starving to death. What's going on here? What's going on? You don't know what's going on here? Mr. Neighbor has got good marks and made delicious dishes for us to eat. Sit down and eat! Oh, Todd! Oh, mm. oh, Todd! Mm. What have you done? <laughs> yes, yes! Why are you doing this? Huh? You've made a mess of all my dishes! Huh? I haven't! Look at this! I haven't! They must have fallen out of my mouth because I ate too quickly! <laughs> See? It happened just now! I'll eat them later, don't worry! I'll eat them all! Hot, hot! Yes! Answer one question for me! Yes. What is Mr. Neighbor and I supposed to do now? What are we, what supposed are we going to eat? to eat? I'd be grateful if you'd answer huh? this question. You've put your beak in all these dishes. Ugh. What's the problem? Sit down beside me. Come on. So much food is left. It'll be enough for both of you. Come on, help yourself. Mm. Come on. But you've put your beak in all these dishes. Ugh. They're not clean anymore. We can't eat them now. Huh? That's because I wanted to eat them all. Besides, I wanted to see what each one tastes like, so I but tasted the food in all of these them. dishes was the same. Yes. Why have you tasted them all? Mm. Oh, I didn't know they were all the same. Besides, why are you so greedy? Aren't these dishes enough for you? There's a lot of food left, you, you know. You still don't know how to eat properly, and you have the nerve to call us greedy? What was I supposed to do? You asked me to come and have some food, so I did. You know, I only know how to peck trees. That's what I did here. I pecked at the foods. 
Anyways, now's not the right time to talk about these things. Sit down and eat. They're delicious. No <laughs> way. <laughs> this won't do. What are these for? But you should have used uh, the spoon to eat. Uh, what? Um, what are we supposed to eat? Listen I'm listening. To me. What are we supposed to eat? You've tried all the dishes. You don't know how to eat by using a spoon. Excuse me? With what? Spoon? Spoon. Spoon. This. I've never eaten anything with a spoon before. No, never. Well, that's a shame. What a shame. What are we supposed to eat now? It's all right, Squirrel. I have some food left. Clean the table a little while I go get it. Uh, Mr. Neighbor. What? Huh? I, I know what to do now. Huh? I have to shout at the top of my voice now because I'm very, huh? very hungry. I'm starving. There's what? no need to shout. No need yes. to shout. I'll go get some more food. Where are you going? Come and eat what's left of it. Why did you leave? Oh, goodness me, you'll be the death of me one day. Hmm? What was I supposed to do? Are all Look these dishes place. for me now? Are you asking me to uh, eat all of these all by myself? I don't know, and I don't care. Do as you want. You always mess up everything, don't you? Look at what hey, you've done. Thank God I cut a lot. your expertise to ruin everything in the blink of an eye. Look at this place. Huh? He's right. Clean up a little bit, You know bit, what, <sighs> Mr. Neighbor? Yes? Little Squirrel. What? You know what? I don't know what Little Squirrel is trying to say. I only know that these dishes are really delicious. They're delicious. I feel like eating them again. You're <laughs> right, but eating has its own set of customs and Don't etiquettes. You can't just peck at the food. Look at all this mess you've made. That's right. Here. Where's Squirrel. my food? This huh? is yours now. Don't put them away, Mr. Neighbor. I want to eat them. Look, there's food everywhere. Oh, the table is a mess. Look at this place. All right. You eat that one which is untouched. Uh, please let me eat. Thank uh, go you on, very eat. much. Okay. Okay. I'll clean up later. Thank you very much, Mr. Neighbor. Okay. Okay. Shall we begin, <laughs> little squirrel? Yes, let's. In the name In the of name God, of the, God, the merciful, the merciful, the compassionate. The compassionate. Yes. Hold on a second. Hold on. Why did you two mention God's compassion? Hmm? We said in the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate, I see. because everything has its own set of customs. This is one oh, of the customs of uh -huh. eating. Yes, that's right. We can't eat like you, yes. messing up the uh -huh. whole table and tasting everyone else's food. We don't make a habit of doing that. We use spoons. We're uh -huh. civilized, aren't we? But I didn't know it was wrong. I have a Sorry. question for you. Yes. You also didn't know that you had to wait for mm -hmm. Mr. Neighbor and I to come to the table before you start eating. We have to eat no, together. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. Forgive me. That's all right, Hot Hot. I'm sure you'll never do it again. Excuse <sighs> me? Are you eating right now? Mm -hmm. Is that how you eat? So slowly? Don't you get tired? No. Eat it fast. This is also one of the customs of eating. When we eat, we have to eat slowly. Otherwise, we'll get stomachache. Besides, it's only when you eat slowly that you fully appreciate the taste of the food. Mm, that's right. I see. Mm -hmm. All right. Got it. I'd better eat too. Mm, delicious. Mm. It's so delicious. Say, how about playing a game once we're done eating? Huh? For example, hide and seek. Huh? What do you say? What do you think? What? Why don't you answer me? Huh? Huh? But why don't you say anything? Come on. Don't you want to? Why don't you talk to me? I'm talking to you. Squirrel, wait until we swallow. What we've got in our mouths first. We can't talk with our mouths huh? full. It's rude. It's against etiquette. It's huh? wrong to sit at the table. He's right. You shouldn't talk huh? when you're eating. You don't love me anymore. Otherwise, you'd have talked to me. <laughs> Who says you can't speak when your mouth is full? Watch me. I can do both. I can eat uh, uh, yeah. and talk at the same hey. time. 
Don't do that. <sighs> it's not you right. You must play with me. <laughs> See what oh. happened? Oh, oh, hold on a second. What's Let wrong? me pat your back. What's wrong? <laughs> hold on a second. Oh, no. Are you better? Uh, no. Uh, yes. You see? When oh, you God. talk with your mouth, the food will get stuck in your throat. Mm -hmm. You almost choke to death. <laughs> and when you talk oh, with God. your mouth full, <laughs> what pieces of food fall out of your mouth, which is really gross? And you may choke yes. on them anyway, besides being gross. Exactly. When you talk with your mouth full, you may choke on the food and die, God forbid. Please don't do it again. It's really bad. Okay. Don't do it again. All right. Today, you kept talking to us so that we had to answer you, didn't we? At least give us a chance to swallow our food first before answering your questions, okay? Will you do that for me, huh? Yes. Oh, oh fine. All right. Oh, oh, oh what is it? Oh, oh, what is it? What's wrong? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Did I hurt your oh, back when I patted what? you? Oh, no, no, my stomach. Oh Your my, stomach? Oh, my stomach! Oh, oh, oh God. Ouch! It hot, hurts! Hot, dear. Hot. Do you like me uh, to get you a glass of water? Yes. No, 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 no! Nothing! I don't want anything! This is exactly oh, what I was afraid of. Stomach. He ate too fast and constantly uh, talked while he was uh, eating. Oh, no. Now his stomach hurts. Oh, God. Don't worry, I'll get you a drink that'll relieve uh, the pain. Oh, oh, dear. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it. You're welcome. You didn't know finish bird. our meal. Naughty bird, you ruined lunch for Mr. Nagel. I'll be right back. Oh dear, we were celebrating, weren't we? Oh, you ruined it now. Oh. What am I supposed to do? What is it going to fault. do with Ouch. me anyway? Oh, oh, my stomach. Oh, does it really hurt? My stomach. You poor oh, thing. God. You deserve it though. Oh. Are you right? I'm the youngest child at home. I think my dad is really strong. But I'm really strong. I'm very powerful. My brother and I quarreled one day. My brother said I'm stronger than you. My dad says you can call someone strong if he manages to stop a fight or prevent his friend's unhappiness. We wouldn't show our strength by fighting and pushing our friend. I'm stronger than all of my friends, but I never hurt them. God has given all of us a strong and healthy body. We should eat properly and exercise in order to get stronger every day. A Muslim who is strong and healthy can be intelligent too. That's what my dad said. A weak Muslim who is not healthy can help others. God wants us to be strong and healthy and help out others. A Muslim who is strong can study well and help weaker people as well. That's why I always try to be healthy and strong. I want to grow up soon and become stronger. I want to become stronger so that I help my mother. God, I know that you've given me a healthy buddy. I'll take care of myself. Thank you so much. God, Thank you. My strength gives me a chance to do many good deeds. <sighs> My dear Hot Hot, how yes. are you? Are you better now? How are you? I'm as fit as a fiddle now. <laughs> oh, well, that's great. I'm glad. Say, Squirrel, dear. Yes, my dear. Yes, my dear. <laughs> Can you do me a favor uh -huh. and teach me the etiquettes of eating properly? Uh, can you? Can you? Can uh, you? My dear friend. Yes. Uh, it won't be much use to you. You huh? don't have any hands or any teeth, do you? Uh, yes, I already know that. But there's uh -huh. a family living near my uh -huh. parents' house. And they have several children. How many exactly, you know? huh? I don't know, a lot. I uh -huh. think they don't know how to eat properly. Because... I can always hear them shouting uh -huh. at each other when they eat. Their noise is always oh. disturbing my parents. They are so loud, you know? 
It's terrible. Oh, all right, uh, but what's that got to do with you? Well, you know, as I said, mm -hmm. their noise disturbs my parents. I want to learn it and then teach them so that they'll stop shouting all the time. It'll also help them not to cough or suffer from All stomach right. pain. Listen to me very carefully, because I won't repeat myself. I'll tell you just once, okay? Huh? Okay, hold on. Let me concentrate. Mm. Okay, uh, start. Are you okay now? Mm. Are you ready? Will you listen carefully? Huh? Yes, yes, yes. I'm okay. listening. Um, okay. Hold on. Concentrate. Mm. Concentrate. Uh, okay, tell me. Tell me. Look, my dear friend, hmm? according to Mr. Neighbor, we need to wash our hands before we start eating. Hmm? Wash it with soap. With what? With water and soap. soap. That's right. Does that mean I should wash my wings and feathers with water and soap? Uh, hmm? No, 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 no. I don't think I so. I should no. Um... After washing our hands, mm -hmm. we should sit at the table and wait until yes. everyone else is present mm -hmm. and then wait for them if they are not. Oh, what are we supposed to do if the others are late and our stomach starts grumbling? Huh? Well, the rest should be careful to come on time uh, so that we don't starve. Before yes. starting to eat, we should say something very... Very, very important. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. Mm -hmm. Remember, we should say that before we start doing everything, especially eating. Mm -hmm. I see. Yes. Mm -hmm. Understood. Let me do something to make me remember everything. Go Wait, on. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. That'll help you remember it better? Hold on a second. I need to do something with my head. Look. <laughs> It sure is complicated. <laughs> all right, all right, it's, it's done. Okay Go now. on. You tell, tell me the rest of it. Go now. on. Uh, look, uh, Mr. Neighbor, the gentleman sitting there mm -hmm. says we shouldn't put too much food on our plate so that we yes. can finish it all like the rest yes, of us. Yes, because if we oh. can't finish what we've put on our plate, we'll have to throw it away, which is a waste, isn't it? It's not good, is it? There's one thing I already know. That we need to eat slowly, very, very slowly. This is especially true of those who have teeth. They need to chew the food completely. Uh -huh. But... But what? What? But what? I can't chew the food. I have to swallow it whole. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You can just swallow them. Uh, look, you need to remember something else as well. You shouldn't talk when you're eating. You shouldn't talk because pieces of food might fall out of your mouth, oh, which is very right. unbecoming He's right. and ugly. And Tell gross. me about it. I almost choked to death. It was terrible. Oh, oh God. Yes. Besides, if you talk too much whilst eating, you'll disturb other people around you. Oh, dear. Since the day I've become your friend and neighbor, yes. I've learned many new things. That's great. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. But you know it's what? odd. I always thought woodpeckers are very wise and smart. But huh? you know... <laughs> yes, they oh, are. Friend. They're very smart. My woodpecker grandpa and grandma are really smart. It is absolutely true of them. But they don't know about such things. Do they? They don't. I don't think so. They don't? No, no uh -huh. they don't. And for a good reason. That's because I'm a human and you're a bird. We have yes. different ways of eating. You, uh -huh. your grandma and your grandpa probably know things huh? that we're not aware of. Yes. Mm, that's right. If you stay on with us, you'll learn 1,000 yes. or even maybe, I don't know, 10,000 new things from Mr. Wow. Neighbor. Yes. I can <laughs> promise you that. I learned All right, them. guys. If that's all, I'll go back to my studies. If I get a good mark again, we can hold another feast. Oh, that oh, sounds yes. great. Yay. Meanwhile, you can either play or talk until it's time for... I know, I know. <gasps> <laughs>
What? You're going to tell us a lovely story. We'll get ready for what? Today's story. story. Today's story. Well, yes. if that's all right with you, story. let's yes. go home and get ready. Are you ready? Yay! Let's yes. go. Let's I'm go. going to get ready. One, Bye. two, one, three, two, four. four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. My mom says, you can find order, beauty, and harmony in every little thing God has created, and they're all the signs of God's power. I told her, Mom, can all these things be found in fruits, flowers, and vegetables? She said, see for yourself. If you look very carefully, you'll see them. So I looked carefully. You do it too. My mom is right. God, thank you for creating everything so beautifully. Well, well, well. Let's see what we can find yeah. today in yeah, our in chest. our. Wonder yes. chest. Wonder chest. Hmm. Wonder chest. Wonder chest. Wonder chest. Wow. It's not that crowded today, is it?、Mm. All right, guys. Are you ready、we、for today's、are. story? Yes. All right. Here we go then. Once upon a time, far, far, far away, in a beautiful, lush green jungle. Lived a little mouse with his mother. All right, Lady Mouse was busy working because winter was approaching, and she needed to gather as much food as possible. She stored the food in the storeroom so that there wouldn't be a shortage of food during the winter. One day, when Lady Mouse was out gathering food, our little mouse's friend came to his house and called out to him. Little Sparrow was the first one. Let's go play together. Hurry up!、Mm -hmm. A minute later, the crow arrived and said, "Gar, gar, little mouse, come and play with us. Hurry up! Hurry up!" Little Sparrow and the crow were Little Mouse's only friends. They played for hours and hours that day, and Little Mouse was really tired at the end of it. When his friends left, Little Mouse thought to himself, "We have so much food, and the winter is a long time away. I'd better go to the storeroom and find something to eat before going home. I'll only eat enough so that my mum won't find out." Here he is. Let's see what he says. My mum has stored them for winter, but there's a lot of food. And winter is a long time away. I can eat some of it and then close the sack just the way it was. <laughs> yes, he thought to himself he'd eat a little of the food in order to quench his hunger without his mother finding out. So he started to eat and eat and eat. After a while, he said, "Wow, it's so delicious." Great! Isn't it a pity to keep this food in this sack? I'll eat until I'm completely full. I want to become strong. <laughs> yes, he continued to eat and eat and eat, without noticing the fact that his belly kept growing and growing, while the food kept decreasing. After a while, he suddenly realized that most of the food was gone. Oh dear! Where's the food? Why is there so little of it left? Have I eaten them all? I really eaten so much. Goodness! What am I supposed to tell my mom? It's all right. I'll quietly go home. Mm hmm. He decided to quietly leave the storeroom and go home before his mother was back. He went. He went and went until he reached the door of his house. He opened the door, but no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't go in. His belly had grown so big that he couldn't get through the doorway. 
He started to shout for help. His friends, the sparrow and the crow, came to his rescue. When they saw the state he was in and his attempts to get inside, the crow said, Gar, gar, why is your belly so big? Why did you eat so much? Gar, gar. The sparrow who was laughing told him, <laughs> Oh dear, why do you look like that? Why are you so round and plump? <laughs> Little Mouse told them the whole story. His friends, who wanted to help him, started pushing him. They pushed and pushed and pushed, but it was no use. Their attempts were in vain. It was then that a big cat suddenly appeared. What more could he ask for? A mouse who was stuck in the doorway and couldn't move an inch, who was also very fat. When his friends saw the cat approaching, they decided to do something to stop the cat from eating Little Mouse. They flew towards the cat and started pecking at his head. They kept pecking and pecking and pecking and pecking until the cat ran away. His friends realized that they couldn't leave Little Mouse to his own devices. He couldn't get inside and the nasty cat could have come back. They took Little Mouse to the tree upon which they had built their nests and accommodated him under it for a few days, taking care of him until Little Mouse's belly gradually returned to its original size. Little Mouse knew that his belly had grown big and he'd been in trouble because he'd eaten too much. He thought to himself, I promise, I promise to mind how much I eat from now on. I'll never stuff myself with food again. Mm -hmm. He promised because he'd suffered from eating too much. Guys, we should be careful to eat uh -huh, as much uh -huh, as our body yes. needs, as mm -hmm. much as it keeps us healthy. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't let our belly grow so big that we can't get through doorways, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, Very he was stuck. So, do not eat too much to stay... Be healthy, yes, be healthy. That's right. And not get stomach aches, no. And not get stuck oh. anywhere. That's right, not get stuck anywhere. I'm going home to eat something and I can get through the door. I won't get stuck. Good for you. <laughs> See you.